So is there anything you need help on? I was actually needing help studying for my government test. Which part? Uh, the progressive era, women's suffrage. That reminds me. Mr. Baldwin found some old videos in his classroom and he wanted you to see them. Yeah. Really? Tennessee, August 1920. The women's suffrage movement has shifted its focus on the Tennessee state capitol. Needing 36 out of the 48 states, the U.S. is one state away from adding another amendment to the Constitution. This one would give women the right to vote. 35 states have already ratified the measure, and Tennessee is up to bat. 36 out of 48? Yeah, at this time Alaska and Hawaii weren't states yet, so there were only 48. And for the amendment to be ratified, three-fourths of the states needed to ratify. Okay. Nashville, Tennessee, July 25th, 1920. Tennessee Governor Albert Roberts has called a special session of the Tennessee General Assembly to consider the Women's Suffrage Amendment. The session will meet in two weeks, and attendance will be Ann Dallas Dudley of Nashville, Sue Shelton White of Chester County, and other suffrage activists. They will, as usual, be wearing their yellow roses in support of the movement. Wearing red roses, however, will be Dudley's opposition, led by Josephine Pearson, head of the Tennessee State Association Opposed to Women's Suffrage. Pearson believes that suffrage is a state matter and not a national one. I know that was a lot of information. Did you get everything? Yes, Ann Dallas Dudley and the suffrage activists wore yellow roses while those who opposed were red. Did it pass? Eventually. Nashville, Tennessee. The Tennessee Senate has approved the women's suffrage measure, sending it to the 99-member state house. This vote is scheduled for August 18th, 1920. The rumors are that this will be a very tight vote. Harry Byrne, a deciding vote in this process and state representative from McMinn County, has already been expected to vote no. We will see soon how it all plays out. Harry Byrne voted yes, though, didn't he? Eventually. Byrne was going to vote no, but after he received a special letter, he decided he'd vote yes. Nashville, Tennessee, August 18th, 1920. A surprising and uplifting day for many suffrage activists throughout the United States. The state of Tennessee has just become the 36th state to ratify the suffrage measure, which gives the amendment enough states to pass through. Harry Byrne, the state representative from McMinn County, surprisingly voted yes after telling us he received a letter from his mother urging him to vote yes. Byrne's single vote was the difference maker. A truly historic day for Tennessee and the whole country. Wow, those were pretty cool. Yep, are you ready? I think so. Thanks, Dale. No problem. Thank you so much for watching SHS TV. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Be sure to subscribe and help support our channel by turning on notifications so you're the first to know when we post a new video.